Tim's News Explosion. 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 Now, on to other uh, Victorian news. Now, I've been keeping you updated on uh, Victoria's various uh, political uh, prisoners. Uh, so, being held at the, the, the Melbourne Assessment uh, uh, Prison uh, recently has been uh, Neil Erickson, Thomas Sewell, uh, Nick Patterson, and Pastor Paul Forlong. Hang on, I've got a phone call here. Hello? Hello, is this our team's news explosion? Uh, yes, it is. Is this uh, Neil Erickson? Yes, the very same. Yes. The, yep. uh, I'm actually called uh, PPE now, uh, post-prison Erickson, but yes, it is Erickson. And so I, I, was, I, was just, uh, I, I was just explaining to the, the, the audience that you're one of the, the, the four uh, political prisoners at the, the Melbourne assessment prison which seems to be our local gulag here where all the political prisoners uh, need to uh, 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 are sent yes um i think they're gonna make a new unit as i said uh, in one of my letters outside of prison um they don't know where to put all of us us political uh dissidents so they're going to create a new unit called unit 51 so i'll be looking forward to it at my next day yes because you could be going back again because well this uh prison sentence was for uh, disturbing uh, religious worship at Islamic prayers at, in Federation Square in 2019. You were deemed a, a high-risk offender because your your words were very offensive. I believe is why you are ter termed a what is it high high-profile offender. This is correct. Uh, very important prisoner. Um, uh, they tried to move me around. Uh, they, they got a bit nervous about my presence, especially Sewell's presence. But I, I think the most interesting thing, all jokes aside. Um, why did they put me and Sewell next to each other in cells? Because I spoke to a few people before my stay at the uh, Melbourne Assessment Prison and there was word that we wouldn't even be in the same prison because of uh, risk uh, of two kind of political offenders being uh, in the same prison. It's, it's risky business for a prison. And yeah, that that is it, yeah. It was we were sort of joking that oh, you and Saul will be cellmates. We didn't think that actually put you together, but they did. And you could actually, even though you weren't supposed to, you did talk to each other. Yeah, pretty much every night we'll talk. We'll have uh, I think the power went out at the Melbourne Assessment Prison for like about four hours one night. We just chatted for about four hours. Uh, it was good having a mate uh, next to you in another cell. Um, it really boosted the morale. Because um, it is quite uh, depressing being in a cell 24 hours a day for three weeks. Um, you didn't miss yes. much on the outside. I mean, we've all been subjected to home imprisonment. Well, I did. I missed every episode of uh, Tim's News Explosion. So. Yeah, you did, because you only get the, the fake news channels uh, in, in prison. Oh, let me just get into that for one second. I don't want to keep you, because it's only a quick, short News Explosion episode. But... Uh, I, I watched uh, mainstream news for the first time in years, and I was just gobsmacked at how how openly fake it is. It's just like everything about COVID. It's like because I watch it from like uh, six a.m. till about nine when it finishes, and it's just just COVID, 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 COVID. Yeah, Cel celebration. We've only got zero cases today, and then I'm watching people line up for eight hours a day. I thought I was in clown world. Eight hours a day for a vaccine that doesn't even protect you 100%, and then they get sent home because there's none for them, and then they line up again the next day for another six or eight hours. Yeah, seven, nine years, they're the absolute worst with the the, the, the fear porn. I, I, th I think when the, the latest outbreak ha ha happened, the, the newsrooms in seven and nine were probably filled with incitement gist. They, they couldn't believe their, their, their luck that they got to talk about COVID fear 24-7 again. Well, they were having their own little news explosion. Yes, yes, they were. Uh, now, uh, as I as I mentioned, you could be going back uh, to prison because you've got another disturbing religious worship charge to uh, to face for a, 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 
an encounter uh, that you had at a, a gay church in in Hawthorne back in in May 2019. Yes, well, first there was the, the Muslims and now it's the gays. So uh, we'll see how we go. I don't know if there's any gay gangs in uh, prison, mm. um, but I'll, I'll soon find out. Yeah, yeah, because you you had you had some uh, encounters in the because you were moved to a what is it a medium security prison for the last uh, last week of your sentence. Yeah, don't, don't be fooled by the word medium. <laughs> There's nothing medium about it. Uh, um, it's just that these people have uh, usually get sent there first. Uh, a lot of the people in there have really bad crimes. Um, it's just that they're a bit more well-behaved. Uh, they're not as extreme. The, the ones they send to Port Phillip for uh, maximum security, th these are dangerous people. Um, these people can't behave in prison. So uh, medium security, it sounds medium. It's not medium. It, it's pretty full on in there. But as I said, like, I, I mean, I've told just the worst of it, um, but, other than that, it's actually a quite a chill place. Um, I, would, I, would, I would advise everyone to go there um, because it, it's a good like detox. Um, go there. Uh, after two weeks, I stopped reaching for my phone in my pocket, which is good. Um, I stopped uh, the the need for nicotine, um, and I was starting to do push ups. I was starting to get fit. It's, it was a great uh, like uh, um, a great experience um, other than, you know, being around Muslims, but mm. I was safe. I got it alive. So I would advise everyone go to prison at least once. Well, when you, uh, well, if you do go, do, go back, I said when, because they'll, they'll probably find a way to, to get you in and throw you in prison again for the, the, the gay church uh, incident. Uh, when you, you're back in, you better watch your uh, behind part of the pun. <laughs> Well, yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm, I'm about to get off, but um, Tim, just a question. You showed a, a video uh, of um, Julie Gillard mm. being questioned about her partner. Is it is Tim gay? You want to you want to ask me? Well, I think the the, the evidence speaks for uh, itself. Oh, right. yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay. And you also mentioned that Tom's writing a a book while he's because he'll be in prison for probably a year or or two uh, while he awaits trial. Well, as I said to Tom, the time he's doing now, um, it's going to be taken off his, his sentence. Mm. So it's basically if he's found guilty on any of the charges, um, it will just be time served. So like Saul's got it in his head, you know, like, well, I either do the time now or later, mm. depending on whether he's found guilty or not. Mm. Um, but he's doing well, man. He's writing his book. Um, I've never seen a guy like him who really doesn't, it's not that he doesn't care. He's just not fussed uh, about being inside. Yeah. He's, he's writing about his, his uh, struggles, isn't he? Yes, it's, yes, it's about his struggle. Um, so I, I, I don't know if I should reveal what he's going to call the book, but uh, it's going to be a very good book. Yeah. And I'm sure you'll enjoy it, Tim. Uh, well, enjoy uh, well your your new, new newfound release in this uh, open air prison of Victoria. <laughs> Well, as you said to me today on the phone, Tim, you were complaining about being in lockdown, and I said, "Well, try being in a cell, mate." <laughs> yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't discount that. Uh, that 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 is worse. Uh, but yeah, uh, on the outside, life still sucks as well. Well, I think it sucks everywhere now in Victoria, and I think people, hopefully, people aren't um, totally brainwashed and aren't all sheep, and we get a liberal government in next uh, election. That's what I hope. Not that I'm a big fan of the liberals, but. We, we're going to get labour out. All right. Uh, take care. All right. See you, Tim. I'm so proud to be on News Explosion, Tim's News Explosion. Um, awesome stuff. Thank you. Tim's News Explosion. 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 Tim's news explosion.